is what makes me beautiful. I could have gone outside to the swimming pool, to the park, but that wasn't going to be me, the real me. The real me is having her family, her dad, my mom that is no longer with us. That was my pillar. That was my number one fan. And I'm sorry. This contest is about what makes you the most beautiful. And that answered your question. My mom. And it's been six months. Six hard a month without her. But yet I've been able to pick myself up and make me beautiful inside and out. And I know from wherever she's watching, she's proud. Proud of where I was to where I'm at now. So I'm proud to say this is the most beautiful and this is what makes me the most beautiful person inside and out. Please don't forget to subscribe. It is a contest. So I would love for you guys to really enjoy my video. Hit like, share, and subscribe. Till next time. This is what makes me the most beautiful person. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, today I'm going to be talking about what is the most beautiful of myself? What makes me beautiful? And I'm hoping by that phrase you understand what it's all about. It's about the It Cosmetics Girl contest. Yes, I have entered. And I want to know what makes you the most beautiful? Is it makeup? Is it your life? What is it? For me, what makes me the most beautiful person is having my loved ones around as tight as they can be. Now, as far as what makes me the most beautiful on the outside, it's going to be the makeup tutorial that I'm going to do next. And why? It brings out many features that many girls out there have and I struggle with day in and day out. I have no eyebrows or hairs and I had to tattoo them in and and I'm not going to get into why because that's not the whole purpose of what this contest contest is about to why because I don't want sympathy. I want if I do win or pass on to the next round it's because of my creativity. Another thing is I have hardly no hair because of the same reason and I am very bald and I hardly don't I'm not able to do my hair or find ways to do my hair because of that and doing this makeup tutorial feels makes me the most beautiful because I can masquerade that I have hooded eyes how can I masquerade so my eyes don't look droopy and I look beautiful and glowy and dewy and if I walk by I held or I hold my head up high saying I am beautiful so with that in mind without further ado this is the most beautiful or what makes me the most beautiful girl or person inside and out please don't forget to subscribe and Look out for the It Girl Cosmetics. Till next time. Love you guys. I already uh, moisturized my face. So um, I'm going to actually, I want that luminous look. I want to feel glowy and luminous. And when the sun hits me, bam, it's in my face. So we're going to go in with L'Oreal True Magic Lumi. And like I said, I want that shimmy going on and I'm going to just focus on like where I want that extra luminous and that is going to be my T-zone right here 
I'm going in next with Smashbox um, primer. I'm going to use the NYX pore filler as well. And I'm also going to use the NYX veil. And that's because I want that luminous glow as well. I want to make sure that whatever I put on there, it looks gorgeous and it is not going nowhere. Okay, so like I said, I am not going to use foundation today. I am going to use the It Cosmetics CC. And this has 50 plus of the SPF and the UVA and UVB. I love it. I'm in a size medium. It is full coverage. So just a little dab goes a long, long way, you guys. So like I said, we're just going in with a dab. And I love this CC when I'm not in the mood of using a lot of foundation. And I still want to feel beautiful and bring out the most beautiful out so i only put a couple of pumps because i do still want full coverage and with a couple of pumps it goes throughout my face so i feel that that is plenty enough for me and i'm going in my eyes as well because i do want enough coverage because i do have bags And I'm just dabbing it as you guys can see. And my beauty blender is wet. To my hairline. Oh, here we go. We are going to go with the Bye Bye Under Concealer. I love this. It really, really does. Um, takes out and conceals and does not does not crease and i love that i it's thick but a little bit goes a long ways and i love it in those areas that i know that i'm gonna need it and then on the eyes i will blend it out with my finger make sure I get in between my little nose. I'm going to go ahead and set that with the It Cosmetics. And this is the Bye Bye Pores. I love using this because I do have pores underneath there. So it does help my pores to set there as well. So I like going in with this one as well. Okay guys, so like I was saying... I'm going to go ahead and let, let that sit there for a few minutes. So we're going to move on to our eyes. And I'm going to be using several palettes. So I don't have the IT Cosmetics, um, any of their palettes. I only have a few of their merchandise. So I eventually I will. So I want to be honest. I don't want to say, oh, I have it when I don't. So um, right now I'm going to start off with the Maybelline, the Blush Nudes. It's this palette right here. And I'm going to go in with this color right here. I'm going to use it as an all-over shade. It's a beautiful peachy, very light peachy color. And I just want to use that as some kind of transition color. Okay. And I'm going in with my E40 brush from Morphe, uh, Sigma, I apologize. And go in with this color right here and then we'll transition to this beautiful purpley color. I'm going to actually use this same brush for this brown that we're going to use. Tap off the excess and inner corner to outer corner and i'm just going like half ways and this is what i was saying that since i have a droopy eyes 
when I only go halfways and I do the reverse um, smokiness eye or whatever eye color that I do decide to use, I can go actually all the way out and then the main color just keep it in the inner. That makes me beautiful. Now I don't have to worry about my eyes being droopy and what not. So that is one of my fixes that I do um, for my droopy eyes. We go in with the Sigma E25. And I want to go ahead and pick up this purple. Beautiful purple. I'm going to start slightly... Uh, small amounts because I don't want to build it up too fast. And then I'll go back in with my E40. Now I'm going in with this other darker purple that's in her palette. And I want to just concentrate it right about here and bring out the rest this way. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out to a brush and I'm going to use this Lexi 235 blending brush. And that's because I just want to concentrate right there. So as you can see, automatically my eyes are drawn inwards. Before, and I'll show a before and after picture. Hopefully I won't forget while I'm editing. the It Cosmetics It's Your Way awarding palette and I use this brown one right here as my um, my bronzer type of way because I don't the Chanel the Zoya Lole and I use this to go all over my skin to give me Next, we are going in with the it, it, like I said, and I'll dab that in there. And I'll just go over the whole entire face. And I love this from It Cosmetics. I really do. I don't regret purchasing it because it's all about making you feel gorgeous and beautiful. And that's my whole Thing about when I do makeup it's making someone feel youth and gorgeous and fabulous and beautiful and not worry about if it's too much or whatnot so I love 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 that palette I really do we're going in with a deeper I just I really don't want a heavy heavy contour just light and I'm going all over usually this is how I I just interpret I, I don't follow the makeup rules in this world I really don't what works for others like I said doesn't work for me I noticed that when I follow the rules either makes me feel like a clown and whatnot and I don't want to be nobody's clown I don't want to have no one be laughing at me and whatnot so 
I do break rules. Rules are meant to be broken, unfortunately. It's a way of life. So. And it's makeup. Makeup wears off. Okay. So you didn't like it. Start from the beginning until you feel beautiful. Who said that in this life, it has to be a certain way? Nobody. I want some more highlight in my face and I'm going to go back into the IT Cosmetic um, palette and I'm going to actually use this one. It's a beautiful, beautiful highlight with this one as well so I combine both of these together and let me go ahead and use my fluffy brush here and we're going to go ahead and go in with this white one. And I'll use this anywhere I want my highlight to accentuate and be my main focus. And usually that's my T-zones. And I will go in into my Opal by Becca. And with a very, very, very light touch, which one am I going to use? I'm going to use my Morphe M501. And I will grab a generous amount and go right there and then up to my temples and right here by my eyes. Right here, bring it down and to my temples. And this is gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's clean it off. Okay, so I'm going in with a Sigma Flat Definer Brush. And what I like doing is sometimes, whether it's this or the liquid eyeliner, which I can easily go in with, I want to tight line my upper one. Very, I want to do like a very close eyeliner to my lashes. before and, and put on and see how the eyes just lifted up by doing that and I'll go in and I'll clean up that little bit that I did get in there which we're going to go in with eyeshadow so I'm not really concerned about that right now um, we're gonna go ahead and go with one of my faves which is the better than sex mascara I really like this it brings out all the little bit of lashes that I don't have I have zero to none eyelashes oh, and the little bit that I do have they just miraculously miraculously is that a word you guys this Puerto Rican accent sometimes just slashes the English accent. So I already did both of my lashes and I also corrected any of the glue that I had when I was putting them on. So we're going to go ahead and finish off. And the only thing that I'm going to do on the bottom is we're going to go ahead and go in again with the black um, eyeliner that we did. We can go in with a different color, but since I want to keep it summery, glowy type, we're just going to go in with the regular black. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to get the L'Oreal black eyeliner and I'm going to dip it in to a flat concealer uh, flat definer brush or you can grab an angle brush I'm using a Morphe E11 and all I'm going to do is dab it like that and I'm going to go in the inner
and on the top we're fine okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab a pencil brush and I am using Morphe any pencil brush it wiped out we're going to go ahead and go back into that Miss Ellie br uh, palette and we're going to use that brownie terracotta color and we're going to go ahead and go ahead and just blend it out and it's going to be okay you're going to pick up some of that black which is fine don't worry about it I'm going to actually switch it. And I like using the Luxie 205 for this. I really do. For some reason, it just lets me get right there. And I'm going to try. And then go into that purple color. And just go on the outside, three fourths or halfway. And go into that deeper uh, purple in her palette. Same way, just in the outer corner. And now, a beautiful high color like this it opens up your eyes and that's what we are looking for and i'm also going to go in with the opal and for my brow bone color i'm actually going to use this color in the palette like i said there's no names but it's this one right here. It's like a peachy goldy color. And I'm going to go ahead and dust it right here. Okay, and we are going to go ahead and use this beautiful NYX color, and it is called Hippie Chick. Look how gorgeous this is. And I love my pinks. I love my corals. As a matter of fact, we're going to put a little bit of coral on here too. Oh wait, I just got one. Which is this one? The 520? Or did I get the 525? 